Steve Mielhausen here at UFC on Fox 2 post fight. We're here with Evan Dunham as he defeated Nick Lentz via doctor stoppage. He's known, you know, some people say a boring fighter. Mm -hmm. Were you shocked at the pace he started with at the beginning of the fight? Uh, not really. I think he kind of was in a position where he had to come out and put a good fight on. And uh, I'm a perfect opponent to do that. You know, I don't put on boring fights. And that's what I was saying before the fight is uh, that he's kind of lucky, you know, to get a fight with me because it's not going to be boring. I'm not going to let him make it boring. I'm not going to let him take me down and just hold me. And you saw him take me down, but he definitely wasn't able to keep me there. But he's a tough kid. He's a gamer. So I wasn't, I wasn't surprised at all. Did you feel in trouble at all when he did take you down? No, not at all. I thought, oh, dang it, he got me down. Now it's time to get up, and he, he didn't keep me down for any substantial amount of time. If anything, it kind of just pissed me off. Did you feel frustrated at the beginning? Because if you looked like you started a little bit slow. Any reason for that, or was just kind of like you were shocked that maybe he did, was pressing the fight a little bit? Uh, no, I, I standing there across from him, walking out in the tunnel, I knew I was a little bit you know, cold. Um, you know, that's the kind of fighter I am, unfortunately, but I'm working on changing that. And, uh, you know, it, it was just a matter of turning around, and that's what I was able to do. Let's talk about the end of the fight. Were you shocked? Because he hasn't been finished in a long time. So were you shocked that he wasn't able to continue into the third round? Uh, I I think, he, you know, he wanted to continue. I wanted to continue. I was a little bit surprised they stopped it because I didn't know the cut was that bad. So, um you know, I would have I would have liked to fight in the third, but uh, you know, it's out of my control, and they stopped it, and so all I can do is be happy with it. You even had a fight finished on the on the feet since 2009. How big of an improvement has Ray Seffo been for you? Huge improvement, huge improvement. Um, I don't think I was able to show the full full amount of improvement tonight. I, I don't think I was as sharp as I should have been on the feet, or as crisp as I should have been. Um, but Ray, he's an awesome coach. He's helping my hands and my, and my feet, legs so much. You know, he's also a good mental coach for me. He keeps me in the right places. And, um, you know, he's, he's a great coach. I couldn't ask for anything more. I know you were a little bit down after that controversial loss to Sean Shirk. Mm -hmm. Do you feel now you got two in a row? Do you feel like now you are back to where you were before? Yeah, I'm in a different mindset now. Um, I really don't think I lost that fight. And I don't believe, you know, I, in my opinion, I'm not 12 and well, 13 and 2. I'm. 14 and one, you know, I, I don't, I didn't lose that fight and I'm, I'm more than willing to fight him again to prove it. Um, so yeah, I'm just in a different mind, mind frame now and I'm ready to fight. He said that he was looking to come back within the next couple of months. Would that be a fight you would want be for your next fight or do you want someone else in the division? I line him up. I'll fight him anytime. Evan, congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you very much.